Hello everyone, welcome to the ICD-10 BCS coding series. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and follow the playlist from the beginning of the video so that you understand all the root operations thoroughly. I have done many videos for ICD-10 BCS from the beginning. This is part 44 of the inpatient coding series and today we will learn about the root operation inspection from group number 7 of the medical and surgical section in ICD-10 PCS. I am Vinay Kumar. I have worked in the medical coding and billing processes for almost 20 years with a lot of experience in medical coding, auditing, training and mentoring. I have helped many professionals in gaining certifications and also learning a lot of medical coding con uh, concepts or the uh, beginning of my career, from the beginning of my career. Now, I'm dual certified from both AHIMA and APC with extensive knowledge in all the verticals of the revenue cycle management. Today, at the end of this learning session, we will have a better understanding of coding the root operation inspection from the seventh group of root operations. We'll look at an example of coding from the medical and surgical section and remember, the medical and surgical section is the most important and the biggest section in ICD-10 PCS. So, there are a th total of 31 root operations in the medical and surgical section alone. And these root operations are divided into 9 groups based on similar attributes of surgical procedures. Today, we are looking at the 7th group which talks about root operations involving examination only. There are only two root operations in this seventh group, inspection and map. Okay, and this is one of the easiest groups in ICD-10 PCS to code. Inspection is visualization only. Map is only mapping of the uh, conduction uh, mechanisms of the heart and the nervous system. We'll talk about map next, but right now it's all about, it's about inspection. So today we are looking at the root operation inspection, which carries a character value of J. Root operations are the most important aspect of building an ICD-10 PCS code. So remember that root operations define the objective, objective or the goal of the procedure. And always read the definition of the root operation and compare it to the procedure performed. Inspection. So the root operation inspection is defined as visually and or manually exploring a body part. The root operation inspection represents procedures where the sole objective is to examine, examine a body part only. Okay. Also procedures that are discontinued without any other root operation being performed are also coded to inspection as the root operation. So the inspection is coded two ways. Examination only and discontinued procedures without any root operation. These two are coded to inspection. So these are examples of procedures that are coded under the root operation inspection. Diagnostic arthroscopy, exploratory laparotomy and diagnostic cystoscopy. As I said earlier, remember that the same diagnostic arthroscopy procedure as an example is not coded as inspection if a more specific procedure is performed. Okay, let's say for example, patient is undergoing knee arthroscopy and nothing else is done, it is coded to inspection. But if the patient is undergoing knee arthroscopy with medial meniscectomy. Now this medial meniscectomy is an actual procedure which, which is not coded to only inspection because they are, they are also doing a meniscectomy procedure. That's where the root operation will change. Now, this is an example of coding the root operation inspection. The patient was admitted to have a thoracoscopic lobectomy performed. The patient has a malignant neoplasm of the right middle lobe of the lung, being unable to advance through the entire right lung because of extensive pleural effusion. The surgeon was unable to complete the procedure endoscopically or thoracoscopically. The procedure was then converted to an open technique and a successful lobectomy was performed. 
So in this scenario, there are two codes that are actually required. First code is for the resection of the right middle lobe as an open approach. The second code is for inspection of the right pleural cavity since the thoracoscope was used to visualize the pleural cavity before converting the procedure to an open approach. So basically two codes are required. So this is the table for the resection of the right middle lobe. The first code which is 0, B, T, D, 0, Z and Z. Section is medical and surgical. Body system is respiratory system. Root operation is resection in this case since the complete lobe of the right lung was removed. Okay. And uh, lobes have their own body part values. So this has to be coded as a resection. Body part uh, would be middle lobe of the right lung. Approach is open. Sixth character is no device. And the seventh character is Z, which is no qualifier. So the code should be 0, B, T, D, 0, Z and Z. This is for the open approach first code. And this is the table for the inspection of the right pleural cavity. 0, W, J, 9, 4, Z and Z. Okay. In this case, inspection is coded as the secondary procedure since the open approach for the lobectomy becomes the primary procedure. Okay. And the section is medical and surgical. Body system is anatomical regions general because the inspection, inspection was only up to the pleural cavity. The root operation is inspection. Okay, when I say pleural cavity, all cavities are coded to anatomic regions general. Procedures on cavities. Remember this. Okay. Next, root operation is inspection. Body part is right pleural cavity. Approach is percutaneous endoscopic. Again, another important point. All laparoscopic procedures are coded to percutaneous endoscopic as the approach value. Okay, because as part of laparoscopic procedures, only uh, two or three keyhole incisions are made and through those keyhole incisions, a scope is inserted and the procedure is completed. In these cases, in laparoscopic approaches, there is no actual uh, larger incision made. It's only a keyhole incision. That is the reason we take it as percutaneous. And since a scope is inserted to complete the procedure, it becomes percutaneous endoscopic. Okay. Next, sixth character is no device and the seventh character is no qualifier. So the code should be 0, W, J, 9, 4, Z and Z. So the key points from this video, all laparoscopic procedures are coded to the approach of percutaneous endoscopic only. And the goal of an inspection procedure is visualization only. Okay. And when a more specific procedure is performed, inspection becomes an inclusive component to that particular specific procedure. It is not coded separately. These are the two, two key points. You will find the online version of the ICD-10 PCS in this uh, link. I have placed this link in the description of the video as well. Once you download it, you have to go to the uh, tables and index PDF and you will find the PCS codes in those tables and index. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Please uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and support the channel so that I can make a lot more videos going forward uh, related to ICD-10 CM, ICD-10 PCS and also CPT. Thank you.